Welcome to Gorgeous Gals, and we're so glad that you decided to join us. This is the project I'm going to share with you today, and I call it Aurora. This was the first one I did, and I love the way the colors turned out. However, when it was time to seal it, I was so excited that I got a little heavy handed with the sealer and the black paint bled into the bright colors. I was so disappointed at this point, I didn't finish it. Thinking through a redesign, I could turn those black spots into silhouettes. I just haven't gotten there mentally. Now let's get started on the project for today. I'm using Formula 49 to clean and condition the outside of the gourd. I apply the Formula 49 using the Dollar Store Round Makeup Applicator to remove all the dirt. After I finish cleaning the outside of the gourd, I let it dry overnight. But if you want to speed up the drying time, you can use a hair blow dryer or a heat gun. But if you're going to use a heat gun, be careful not to burn the skin of the gourd. After the gourd has dried, we're going to paint the entire body black. I'm using transparent acrylic paint in pitch black and will be using the foam makeup applicator to cover the entire body of the gourd as well as the neck. As I was painting, I decided a foam paintbrush would be better since the gourd I'm working on is so much larger than the one I previously did, which you can see in the corner of the table. It's a good idea to start out painting small gourds, then as you develop your skills and techniques, you can graduate to bigger sizes. My supplier was out of small gourds, so I was forced to use a large one for this project. Now we're going to apply the masking tape. I used painter's tape on the first one, but when I removed the tape, it pulled the paint right off. This time, I'm trying masking tape and washi tape to see if there's any difference. I am using one inch masking tape and washi tape in half inch and quarter inch sizes. Apply the tape in a random pattern using all three of them. You need to make sure that the edges of the tape are secured to the gourd. You can do anything you want here because there are no wrong decisions. Create your own pattern, a design, free form it. This is where you can let your creativity flow and really have fun with it. Now after the tape's been applied, we need to seal the edges with another coat of black paint. This time, I use a disposable bowl for the paint and dip the applicator in the paint using a dabbing motion to cover all the edges of the tape. The goal is to prevent the bright colors from bleeding through the edges of the tape. This step will minimize the amount of touch-ups needed when the tape is actually removed. Now we get to the fun part. I filled each cavity of my palette with satin varnish. I used Deco Art Americana Dura Clear Satin Varnish, that's a mouthful, and Arteza Mica Powder. I add a different color of mica powder to each cavity. In the first cavity, I combined a turquoise and spring green. The next one is sapphire blue, then bright blue, a violet, a copper, and a bronze. I made an orange, but I didn't like it, so I didn't use it. And then I had a light gold. I mixed the mica powder thoroughly into the satin medium. Then I used the foam makeup applicator to apply the paint using a dabbing motion to put the paint on and to blend it into the other colors. Just take your time and enjoy the process until you get it where you really like it. I will share with you, it was 110 degrees when I was doing this, so it was really difficult to blend the colors. But now is the moment to reveal the surprise. It is so exciting to peel off the tape and reveal exactly how the gourd looks. As I was removing the tape, I did notice there were a few areas where there was a little bit of bleeding and I did pull some of the black paint off, but it wasn't too bad. I'm not exactly sure what the remedy is, but if you have any suggestions, please post them below. Boy, don't you agree that the colors are beautiful? I love the way the light reflects and the way that they're blending into each other. And now you know why I call it Aurora. 
So I put a little bit of black paint into a clean palette and I went through and touched up the areas that needed it before I moved on to the next step, which is to pour resin on the inside of the gourd. You'll need a scale for this step. I use the brand Art Resin and I measure equal parts of resin and hardener. For this size of a gourd, I started with one ounce of resin and one ounce of hardener, then I added black paint to the resin to color it. I purchased a paint that had a pump on it and I will never do that again. It gets clogged up and it's more of a pain than it's worth. I let the paint drain from the tube into the cup, but do not put the tube into the resin. I then mixed the resin for about three minutes and after the mixing was done, I pour it directly into the gourd and started to turn it rotisserie style to get the inside coated. I will repeat this step about three or four times to get a good covering on the inside. I'm going to try to light up the inside of the gourd and get a close-up shot so you can see what's going on on the inside. And after spinning the gourd for a while, you will notice the resin starts to thicken and slow down. And this is where I take a little bit of the resin remaining in the cup and will place it around the very top edge of the gourd. And this will give it a nice shiny finish like the rest of the gourd when it's sealed. I will continue to rotate um, the inside of the gourd. And once I feel that I've done enough, I will take a torch and pop the bubbles around the neck. The inside doesn't matter because nobody sees it. Then I let it cure overnight and this is the finished product. I just love the way the light is reflecting in the colors. It's absolutely gourd. Just get it? I know. I'm a nerd. Well, anyway, when you're able to blend the colors seamlessly, it's just breathtaking to me. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Until next Friday, make it a gorgeous day, every day. Bye.